this video aims to show how a slave loop training program can teach a novice the skills required to successfully complete a soccer, control, dribble and pass. A following video will show a novice attempting these three skills. skill of controlling, dribbling and passing a soccer ball would be classed as the gross motor skills with a continuous movement throughout the skill. According to Gentile Taxonomy, this skill would be classified as 3D because there is body transport, an object, regular conditions in motion and no intertrial variability. There are three components to this skill and these components will hopefully be improved throughout the use of part and hold practice. The three components involved in this skill are the soccer control, dribble, and pass. The majority of the program uses part practice while using hold practice at the end of the program. The program consists of two 45 minute sessions a week. This is to avoid demotivating the learner with lengthy sessions. To keep the learner motivated throughout the program, Motivational and teaching strategies such as verbal cues and encouragement will be used. There will also be mental imagery used throughout the program. And the learner will be shown videos of successful soccer players to help motivate and inspire them. Throughout the training session, the learner will take several breaks to avoid boredom and mini games to keep it interesting. The difficulty of the program will increase gradually throughout the length of it so the learner doesn't become overwhelmed with new information. Along with a program goal, the learner will also be given a weekly goal. This will help the learner maintain motivation throughout the course of the program. The goal of week one is to have the learner be able to successfully stop and control the ball while stationary. Example of this will be shown in the following video. <laughs> In this week, the learner is introduced to the skill of passing. The goal of this week is to have the learner successfully control the ball and pass it. An example of this will be shown in the following video. In this week, the learner is introduced to the skill of dribbling the ball. The goal of this week is to have the learner successfully dribble the ball and pass it correctly. An example of this will be shown in the following video. In this week, the learner will practice all three components of the whole skill while running. The goal of this week is to have the learner control the ball while running and dribble the ball while running. An example of this will be shown in the following video. In this week, the client practices stringing all three components of this whole skill together while running. They are also retested using a transfer test and a retention test. An example of the retention test is shown next. After the completion of the program, a transfer test and a retention test will be conducted on the learner to see how much they have learnt. The transfer test will consist of bouncing a ball towards the learner, having them control it while running, dribbling it through cones and passing to a moving target. The retention test will consist of them attempting the whole skill a week after the program has completed to see if they've retained any of the skills learnt.
At the start of the program, the client was in the mental stage of learning as they had no previous experience with a skill that was going to be required of them. After the completion of the program, it is expected that the client would be in the associative stage of learning as they have learnt the basic components of the skill but the components can still be defined and progressed on.